having spent most of your career making feature films, some television, why do you think six, 10 minute length shows are the future? Well, because the world has changed. And it's only a dozen years ago, you know, that, you know, Steve Jobs and his genius invented this, created this. And it turns out, particularly a, a, among the core audience that we're interested in, that if you're 25 to 30 years old, you get up every morning, and between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m., this device is with you. You spend five hours on it today. We know that. And what are you doing? You're communicating, collaborating. You're on social media. You're playing casual games. And right now, today, you're watching more than 60 minutes of bite-sized content on the go during your day. Different from Netflix, different from HBO, different from broadcast television. Our use case, which is now tried, true, tested, and proven, the market is there. There are two billion people who are watching an hour of short form content on the go every day around the globe. If we go out and capture literally 2%, 3% of that addressable audience, we will have one of the great blockbuster businesses of all time. And you've had so much success in your career. What does success look like for you? The moon, <laughs> the stars, the sun, the galaxy, and everything in between. I mean, I think we are setting out to do something that if it succeeds, and obviously I believe deeply that it is going to succeed, will be one of the great entrepreneurial opportunities of my lifetime. At the turn of the 20th century, the form and format of storytelling were movies, and they were two to three hour stories, and we went and we saw them in a movie theater in a single set sitting. In the 1950s, a new form of narrative storytelling came along called television. And it had chapters that were one hour long, but they tended to be stories that were either episodic, one hour on it, in and out, or they were serialized, and they would be 13 to 26 episodes in length. Today, what we're setting out to do with Quibi is to sort of converge those two ideas together to create something new and different. And so to us, a, a series is two to three hours in length, but in chapters, or act breaks that are under 10 minutes long. And you're talking about like $6 million an Which hour. Which is the top of what anybody spends today in any television. I mean, maybe there are, out of 550 shows, there, there's maybe 2% that cost more than $100,000 a minute. Um, so yes, we are at the very high end of the highest quality. Why? Because if you want the best writers, if you want to deliver the production value, if you want the best actors and actresses, if you want the best directors, if you want the best sound, and you know, you look at the setup here for, for this. You have a triple A production here today. You get what you pay for. You've raised a billion dollars from the major studios, from other investors. Do you think that's enough to compete with the billions and billions and billions of dollars that are being spent on yeah, content because, by Netflix yes, and others? You know, you have to start and for sure, the billion dollars um, is, is everything we need to get up and get launched. At some point, we will go raise additional capital. Everybody has known that from day one. That's not, a, that's not new news. The billion dollars was raised on Meg Whitman, myself, and a business plan. The next billion dollars is going to be raised on incredible transparency into a fantastic management team, a company at scale, content that you can actually see, a roster of talent, a pipeline of content that's of the best IP in the world, a, a tech platform and a user interface that you'll look at and understand how singularly unique it is and as special it is as to the content itself. When you could see all of those things, now you start to get some insight into the business that we're building.